All right, guys, welcome back to another CC Outdoors video. Today we are out here on the water in the Detroit Lakes area, and we are doing some frog fishing um, with the 10,000 fish tataki frog. We're just going to see if we can't get a few cool blow-ups on video. And, uh, yeah, I'm not necessarily chasing giants, just out here to have some fun, see some blow-ups. So, yeah, let's get into this video and hopefully smash them. Oh my God, if that would have hit me, that would have killed me. <laughs> that probably was a bit excessive of a hook set, but it was also like a nice blow up. So let's see if I'll come back since I obviously didn't sting it. Jeez, these fish aren't getting a hook in them. There, we got a hook in one. Oh. What the heck, did you see that? That fish thought he was still hooked. Jumped again. Let's see if he'll come back one more time. I, I hooked that fish, so I doubt he'll be back. Oh, that was a big blow up. I wasn't even really paying attention. No. I know I didn't sting it. They're just not grabbing it. Too good. This is a pretty big frog too. It's like a, uh, I mean, this is more of a big fish bait. It's hard for a little fish to get. Bait. There we go. Nice, like two pounder. Oh. Two and a half, three pounder. All right. <laughs> oh, look at that. That was an awesome bite. And when you can get fish eating the frog like that, to never complain. This fish literally had it in his gullet. Like a three pounder or so. Not a bad one at all. We're just gonna get this fish right back in the water here. Go. Oh yeah, I took a three. No! How did I lose that fish? That was a nice one. Dang it. These hooks are sharp and like, I just don't know what's going on, but obviously I'm screwing something up. That was a nice bass. Ooh. I boil on. I can just bust it out deep. Or not deep, but in the middle. We're in a really shallow bay here. Oh, I missed it. The deepest this bay gets in the middle is like three feet. Just super shallow, muddy, kind of crappy. But, you know, for these first few weeks of the year, you can usually get a pretty good topwater bite out of it. Um, until like probably a week or two after we eat a couple more of these 80 degree days it's just gonna choke out with weeds so i'm kind of just getting my time in at this spot now and honestly i don't think this spot holds giants just because like all these fish that i'm seeing up shallow they're they're two pounders which 
they make for some fun topwater fishing and like good con okay content i guess i wouldn't say great content because well it takes big fish to put it all together but you know i can put together a fun little video off of doing this so i'm going to um just basically all i'm doing we don't have any weed growth really yet um the bottoms are starting to muck up but we don't have any pads so i'm kind of just paralleling to the shore i'm getting a lot of my bites around some of that like mossy stuff there that's where the majority of the bites are coming from but i'm basically just paralleling the cattails and yeah i mean it's fun watching these fish blow up on it and also how you see there's little points that stick out those also are seeming to outperform just regular flat banks like we're on right now so yeah that's just a little bit about what i mean oh that one i've got to get bit on that's like perfect spot right there that point there just a dinker but still a pretty cool bite it was a pretty predictable spot where i got bit these fish get super pale when they're up in these weeds that one there it's like no color to them but just get them right back hmm that's a log Since I get very bored of frogging very fast, I'm done frogging and I'm going to throw something a little more fun to throw, if you will. Um, just gonna throw this revolver around. God, those hooks are sharp. Um, just, it's a little more action, I guess. You, you're constantly retrieving, you're not doing that whole walking thing. And it's also just cooler blow ups, I think. Better hook up, I mean. In general, I think this is just a better bait than a frog, but it's just my opinion. It's probably wrong, but I wanna have more fun with these fish. <laughs> is that a bluegill? I just caught a, my first sunfish on the revolver. I have to unhook him without getting a hook in there. Holy, what, I wasn't looking. I don't know what I just missed. That was a pretty aggressive bite though. Well, maybe it'll come back. Will we be able to retrieve the revolver out of the bushes? Let's find out. There we go. A little loud, G. See if we can unhook this thing without messing ourselves up. Do I need a pliers? This thing is going to be a pain to unhook. Especially when it keeps doing that whole shaking ordeal. Alright, get him right back.
There we go. Right up by shore. If it's a large, you too, it's a better one. It's a three, probably. Two and a half, three-ish, yeah. It's super skinny, though, so probably only like two. Still take it. Get her on. Oh. Prob probably spawned out, to be my guess. As you can see, it used to be pretty fat, but it's all skinny now. Let's get her right back. And caught that one on the old Guggen revolver. There we go, that feels better. Oh, it might be a pike. I can't tell what that is. Oh no, it's a nice large. Yeah. It's like a three and a half. Nah, three. I got too excited. Oh my god. I do not like where my hands are. Them hooks. getting ready to flop. God, I hate these big trebles on here. It's so scary. These are good to flop again. Get them out. All right. Nice largey there. Get that one right back as well. She was angry. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed that little topwater video. Uh, we didn't catch a ton. We threw the revolver around. We threw the tataki frog. Got some cool blow-ups. I'm hoping the camera caught them. Um, and yeah, I mean, just a fun little night of topwater fishing. We have storms that are going to be rolling in here soon. And my boat is literally empty on gas. So I'm just going to idle my way back to the access, put it on the trailer, whatever. Um... And yeah, I'm just going to call it a night early. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it once again. And yeah, have a good day.